Hey guys, um, my name is Lisa and my husband Peter and I are foster parents. Uh, we currently don't have any uh, placements in our home and we just uh, reunified a sibling group. And I've been talking about um, our reunification process the last couple of videos and you know how we got through the reunification process, how we really saw um, God at work. And I also shared about the going home party and that was like three days prior um, to the kids going home. And I knew that like after that, like we kind of had them sit with their emotions um, the following day and uh, we were dealing with um, an injured eye as I explained in the, the going home uh, video. And so for the last day, um, I wanted to do something kind of fun. You know, I asked Peter to take off work the day before and I was like, okay, what do we do um, to, you know, make it fun, make it memorable? And th the oldest, she kept asking for a yes day. And I was thinking, well, I already had like a bunch of fun stuff planned, but you know, I guess why not do a yes day? Because then they are controlling, you know, what they really want to do. And I figured last day with the kids, if we got them all sugared up and whatever, they're going home the next day to their parents, you know, and we kind of took on that fun, um, you know, aunt or uncle type role. So I was like, okay, so we set up some ground rules and I'll show you the paper that we had so that way, and I'll list them um, um, below in the description. Um, you may have to come up with different uh, ground rules, but we had it so it was more about time together and not stuff. So, you know, if they had asked, oh, can we go to Walmart and just have like a shopping spree? Be like, no, because it's not about, you know, stuff, it's about time together. Um, and then um, they had to switch off on who was kind of making the calls. And if it was something that, an activity that took longer than an hour, then the other sister needed to agree on it. Um, we didn't want the one kid to be able like to dominate the whole day. So that's how we did it. And we also had said like, we could make any other like ground rules that we felt were, you know, needed. And obviously safety was considered. They honestly did not go as crazy as I thought, but if they had just been asking for, you know, sugar after sugar after sugar after so much sugar and like just nasty stuff, I think we would have been like, you know, for your safety, we don't think it's healthy. And so then that was where the safety could have played in if we needed it. So. The ground rules were pretty, you know, we weren't gonna let them do anything like too crazy. I was definitely worried about what they would ask for, um, but it really wasn't too crazy. And, and a friend of ours, she said that they have done this several times and it's not as crazy as you think it's gonna be because for kids, it's just whatever is the next thing in front of them. So like, for example, the day prior, I had um, some ice cream bars and the oldest had asked and I said no. And I was thinking that she would ask for them on yes day and I would have said yes, but uh, she didn't remember about them because they were in the freezer and we just didn't even open the freezer that day. I will share with you a dozen things um, that we said yes to. Um, so uh, the oldest asked if she could eat breakfast with her PJs on. That's just not something that we normally did and so she was really excited to eat breakfast in her pajamas. Um, the second she asked if, um, the oldest asked if she could have um, berries on a cloud, which is Belgian waffles with um, some berries and whipped cream on top. And she also wanted dinosaur oatmeal. So she got both and she was so excited. And then um, they wanted a drawing contest. And then unfortunately, um, the middle, she wasn't feeling very good. She had a uh, minor fever. And so the, the big thing that the oldest wanted to do was um, Sky Zone. And we knew that the middle wasn't feeling very good and didn't think that jumping around would be very good for her. So the, the main thing was we want to have time together. But uh, we for this one, we kind of made an exception and, and we just asked the middle if she would like to go to a friend's house um, and hang out with, with them while we, we went to Sky Zone. And for her, that was more exciting than playing at Sky Zone. And the oldest was happy because she really got, got to go to Sky Zone. We got a question. How are you liking yesterday so far? I love it so much because you say yes to everything. <laughs> While we were at Sky Zone, the oldest asked if they could have ICs, so her and her brother at ICs. Then um, the middle, so as it was middle, it was her turn to ask for something. Um, so she asked for lunch if they could have Happy Meals. So we got each of them a Happy Meal. Uh, we have definitely gone to McDonald's with them, but for I'm just like 
against my Happy Meals because it's just, I feel like a waste of money and you get a toy that you don't really care about and, and like that's what you're paying like more for and you could get a better value if you just got a, a large thing of chicken nuggets and large fry to split, but it was yesterday. And so yes, we said yes to the Happy Meals. I, just the simple things, you know, and, uh, but the middle, unfortunately, like I said, she had a fever, so she ate only her apple slices, and that was it of the Happy Meal, um, so she came home and took a, took a giant nap, so we still did nap time, um, they didn't ask not to take nap, I think, you know, had she been feeling better, she might have asked not to take nap, and of course, we would have said yes, um, but, uh, they are used to nap time, so the younger two, um, took naps, and then, um, I took a nap as well then, um, and then we um, played games um, while eating candy, and then it was time for the middle to make a choice, and so she chose to go to this indoor playground that we have near us that's really awesome, and so we went to that for a little bit, and then it was the oldest turn to pick dinner, so she wanted to eat at her favorite Japanese restaurant, and we invited some of her friends, and so that was um, really great to um, have another time with them. And then when we got home, it was raining and Bubby like kept pointing outside like he wanted to go outside in the rain. And I was like, okay, sure, you can go out and run in the rain. So he had his socks and shoes off and he went running in the rain. He was only out there for a minute and then he wanted to come back in and he asked to um, watch monster trucks. So we did that. Um, and then we put um, Bubby to sleep because it was, you know, too late. I wanted him to stay healthy. And then the girls, they asked um, for a movie night and they asked if they could sleep in their tents. So we set up two play tents and the middle, she um, only made it um, for an hour um, after the movie sleeping out here. And then she went up to her room. Uh, but the movie that they picked, oh my goodness, they picked The Fox and the Hound. And do, do you know that movie? Like that movie is an emotional movie. And this is the day before they're leaving. And there's this emotional scene in there where the old woman is dropping the fox off in the woods to give him a better life. And all I could think about was dropping the kids off the next day. We met, it seems, such a short time ago. You looked at me, needing me so. Yet from your sadness, our happiness grew. And I found out I needed you too. I remember how we used to play. <laughs> I recall those rainy days. And now I find we're both alone. Goodbye may seem forever. Farewell is like the end. But in my heart's the memory. And there you'll always be. And I'm like on the couch sobbing while the kids are in their tent and they're oblivious and I went over to them and I gave them a hug and again they're oblivious like how that connects to like what's gonna happen tomorrow and I'm really glad we got to create some more memories before we got to drop them off with their parents um, the following day um so yeah it went um really great those last couple of days it was definitely hard to, to walk through um but I was trying to think of ways that we could make it fun um, and make it enjoyable for the kids and yet at the same time still build in space for them to um, share their emotions because I don't want them just to stuff them because that wouldn't be helpful either. So I feel like we did end up doing a pretty good balance and it was um, just a really uh, meaningful time together. Uh, so thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you are not already and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.